Hi children. Good morning all of you. Hope you are all studying well. And hope you all have understood the taken sessions. Yes. So in this lesson, separation of substances lesson, we have learnt uh, about the things around us and how each uh, products are made. And we have learnt about the five qualities, five characteristics of metals. Yes. The first one is appearance, hardness, solubility, flow tossing, transparency. So yesterday we have learnt about the transparency. Yes. So I told you to send some, uh, do some activity and send it to me. Only few students sent. I want you to uh, do the activity and everyone have to send to me. Okay. And today we are going to learn about some extra facts. Okay. So, have you ever wondered uh, when the power gone, okay, you are using torchlight, okay, at that time, if you are keeping under the pump, your uh, hand pump, what do you observe, you can see some reddish color light on the hand, yes or no, popping la, ipo current la, bodhi, torch nam hullangai la vachu paakum bodhi, on the reddish color we can see, yes or no. So, but we cannot able to see the blood. But there is a color formation. We can uh, see the color. Uh, red colored uh, light. Yes or no? Yes. We can therefore group materials as opaque, transparent and translucent. Pagli suggest covering the glass of a torch with your glass at a dark place. With your covering the glass of your torch with your palm at a dark place switch on the torch and observe the other side of the palm so in the picture la irukra mari ninga vandu irutana oru place la ninga and picture la irukra mari torch light adila vachu mele kaiya vachu nam moodittona you can see some reddish color on the top side of the palm okay so what it indicates so light light passes through our palm okay so light is passing through our hand palm so that we are able to see the some um, so we can we cannot see blood directly but we can identify okay blood is flowing through our body so it indicates that uh, the torch light indicates that our palm has blood flow okay so it is our hand is a translucent we can so can you remember children what is translucent see light partially passes through the object we cannot able to see the clear object so that is what happened in the palm we can identify blood flow but we cannot see the blood okay okay is it transparent or translucent or opaque Try lighting up a torch below your hand and observe the reddish color obtained on the other side. Partially allowing light to pass is the characteristics of translucent objects. Hence, your hand is a translucent. Okay children, you got it? Okay. Why do we need to group materials? Why? There is a need? Yes, because each objects are made up of different materials each materials have specific characteristics okay and properties because if you take a cotton it will be absorb more water but if you take nylon it it won't absorb so likewise you can take any cup clay cup means it will break soon if you fell down it will break but if you take a metal cup, it won't. So, based on the purpose and need, they are classified. Okay, in everyday life, we often group materials for our convenience. At home, we usually store things in a such a manner that similar objects are placed together. Such an arrangement helps us to locate them easily. Similarly, a grocer usually keeps all types of biscuit at one corner of his shop and all soaps at another corner and grinds and pulses are stored at some other place. 
so we cannot uh, uh, even in the supermarket you can see see one line la patha soaps mattume irukum creams mattume irukum one line la patha grains mattu irukum one line la patha biscuits ala irukku liya why they are separating so by that the customers are able to take it soon so that they are classified so let us see the summary children okay objects around us are made up of large variety of materials okay so many variety of materials like clay plastic uh, metals many things okay glass a given material can be used to make a large number of objects it is also possible that an object could be made of a single material or a many different types of material okay so an object a finished object can be made by single material or multiple materials different types of material have different properties okay some materials are shiny in appearance while others not some are rough and some smooth similarly materials are classified as hard whereas some others are soft see which can be compressible sponge cotton so those can be easily compressible so it is a soft but metal key and coins cannot be compressed so it is hard some materials are soluble in water whereas some others are insoluble you can take sugar if you dissolve in water it can be completely dissolved it is a soluble but if you are taking sawdust it won't be dissolved so it is insoluble some materials like glass or transparent some others such as wood and metals are opaque and some materials are translucent can you remember our hand yeah it is a translucent transparent you can groceries uh, candy ca candy containers okay and some uh, cardboard sheet metals wood likewise and are opaque okay so what is the difference children if you are using transparent uh, glass container you can able to see the candies in the shop but if you are using any wooden box or any metal box you can't see isn't it yes materials are grouped on the basis of similarities and differences in their properties things are grouped for, together for convenience and to study their properties okay okay children so we have completed the lesson 4 i'll share you the class work soon thank you